All right, so we're looking at some Unit 6 review, Bridges Math 4th grade, so let's get into it here. And we are doing some uh, problems, and just be aware, we're talking about area, area, and then perimeter. So don't get those confused, just be very aware of what each problem is discussing. So let's start with number one. So we've got an area of 306 square centimeters, and one dimension is 6 centimeters. So the whole thing might look like that, but I will probably want to break it into smaller rectangles to figure out how it is. So um, I will start here. And again, I'm going up to 306. So I might think six times what can get me close. And if I went six times 50, that would get me all the way to 300, yeah? So then how much more would I need? I only need six more. So 6 times what would give me that 6? And then I think you've got the answer at that point. For this next one, if you look at the numbers carefully, it's going to be, you're going to make some connections here. But maybe you could do this one with the ratio table. It's the same type of problem. Uh, but maybe uh, you can do a different method or whatever method you want here. But uh, um, just work your way up to get the answer for with the ratio table. But down here is where we have perimeter. So, okay, let me scroll down again. Here it is. Okay. Um, the whole distance around this guy is 306. And I know one dimension is 6. So this dimension is 6. This dimension is 6. So what I need to do, to do basically, I add those together, I have 12. And I can subtract that. And then whatever I have left it's going to be split to this side and to this side. So I'll need to divide that by 2, whatever's left, to figure out the perimeter. Okay, now we've got another type of division problem. Six people are splitting the cost of a trip, and the total is $306. I think these numbers should be looking very familiar at this point. But again, um, divide it out and see what you come up with for that. Then let's see. Okay, this next problem is um, basically connecting to this one. So, all right, spoiler alert, the answer to this one is gonna be $51. Hopefully you figured that out, but if you didn't. But uh, we need to know that to properly solve this one because now, instead of six people, we have 12 people. And it's the same price. So basically, this girl, Jenny, is right because um, you're going to take this $51 and split it in half because you're doubling the number of people. And then the question is, how do you do that? So for to split up $50, what I would do is um, take it into 50 and 1 and then split 50 in half and then split 1 and a half, 1 into half. So basically, that's going to be 1 half of a dollar or... 50 cents is another way to do that. So that's going to how you be how you do that. Okay, and then a couple more quick ones. Let's see. All right, so you've got three people and uh, you're doing 153 bucks this time and three people. So figure that out. And then is Pedro correct? Is it the same as the answer to problem four? And then here we have four friends and his three friends purchasing purchasing a gift for their baseball coach. And we've got uh, $15.75 split amongst nine friends. Okay, so this is a challenge, so just do your best. If you get really stuck here, I think it's okay to leave it undone if you've given it a try. But, okay, just think about it like this. If each of these guys, uh, nine friends, if they each <laughs> if they each do one dollar, that's going to give nine dollars, right? So we know they're each going to give at least nine dollars because they've got 15. If they did two dollars, that's too much. So let's start with that. So we know uh, they're each going to pay at least one dollar, which is nine dollars. So that leaves us with um, six dollars and 75 cents left. 
So how in the world are nine friends going to split up $6.75? That's why this is a challenge. Let's take a look at it with some um, illustrations. Okay, so let's just start with this. We have $6 and we have uh, 75 cents. I split it into quarters. And we have nine friends, right? So these nine friends can't all take another dollar. It's um, too many of them. So what we need to do first, let's split these dollars into half. So if I split one in half, it's going to be 50 cents and 50 cents to make a dollar, right? And then I can do that for all of them. There we go. So the, uh, we split all these dollars into half, 50 cents each. And there's nine friends, right? So each friend, if they take 50 more cents, that's going to get rid of nine of these here. So right, nine friends taking 50 cents each, like so. And now um, this is how much I have left. I have like 150 cents plus 75 more cents. And I have nine friends who are splitting this up. So one more time, I'm gonna split these 50 cent pieces down. And if I split those, it's gonna give me what? Um, 25 and 25, right? And that's gonna give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Everyone gets another 25 cents and then they're evenly split. So basically, uh, $1 plus 50 cents plus 25 cents, if you add those together, that's how much each of uh, these boys is gonna pay for their coach's gift. So again, a bit of a challenge for that last one. Uh, thank you and goodbye.